What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak called Sphere View. Now what Sphere View does is take all the applications on your springboard and throw them into this three-dimensional sphere that you can manipulate with a swipe of a finger. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I have mine set up before we actually get into this setting. So you can see right here that if I go to the home screen, this is what mine looks like. Now it's stagnant at the moment, but if you just do a tiny little swipe right here, you'll notice that you get this nice, slow, ominous spin. Now, it actually depends on how hard you swipe with your finger, how fast the sphere spins. So you can see if I go ahead and do a hard swipe, that it starts to spin a whole lot faster. Of course, you can really just stop it just by tapping on it right there. Now, if you need to get a closer look, you can always just zoom in just like that, and you can still uh, scroll through your sphere just like that. Now, this is a really cool tweak. I think it is uh, something that looks really awesome. It's something to show your friends, you know, kind of brag about that you have this tweak and you can do this with your phone, but it's not something that you would typically use on a daily basis, mostly because it's extremely hard to find applications, especially when you have a lot like this. I mean, when you're looking for a specific app, you will, I mean, you'll be looking for it for a good, you know, 15 seconds, 20 seconds before you actually find it, if you find it uh, within that time frame. So yes, this does look really awesome, but it really just doesn't have a lot of utility for a daily driver, in my opinion. Now, if you guys are willing to sacrifice usability for the look of this tweak, then more power to you. So if we tap on settings here and we go into sphere view, I'm gonna show you some of the things that actually don't work for those of you that really do wanna purchase this tweak. So right here, you can disable it very easily just by toggling that on and respringing, and then uh, it's gonna take effect. You also notice right down here that we have three options for round icons, as well as hide label and disable dock. Now, I have rounded icons selected because if you don't have rounded icons, uh, for me anyway, you get this black border around the icons that doesn't look good uh, it looks like a bug, it's not a feature or anything like that. And it's just something that doesn't look good that hopefully can be fixed in a future update. But also right down here we have hide labels. This is basically gonna make that sphere look a whole lot less cluttered because it's not gonna have any labels on it and it's just gonna look a whole lot cleaner. Now right down here we also have disable dock. Now the dock is not something that I'm a big fan of uh, in terms of this tweak. I like the original dock, but this dock basically has all the applications that have notifications. That's gonna be down there in the dock. And really you have some options to change up the dock, but it doesn't work. And I'll show you what that looks like here uh, in just a second. But you have the options right here for your dock with view settings. So if we tap on that, you'll notice that you have your notification apps. So this is where you're going to supposedly uh, configure your dock. But you'll notice right here that we have a uh, linear option or a cover flow option. But if I go ahead and tap on cover flow and then I go back, you'll notice that it goes back to linear. Same thing for the rounded icons, the hide labels and the hide badge. If we toggle all these on, we go and go back a uh, settings panel and we go back into it, you can see that none of it's saved. So we can't really configure the dock to any extent or I haven't had any luck with it anyways. So what I'd like to have is just linear and I'd like to have rounded icons and I'd like to have hide labels. I think that would look really nice. I think it, uh, you know, fit in well with the sphere view, but unfortunately we can't get that. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and respring the device, I'll show you what the dock looks like just in case you guys wanna, uh, you know, just check it out just in case. In my opinion, it doesn't really look that good, but I'll see what you guys think. All right, so now we're resprung. So if we go ahead and swipe to unlock, so here is the notifications apps or the dock basically. And you can see that it's actually in cover flow for some reason. It's definitely not rounded corners and you can see the black borders around the corners as I was talking about previously. Now I've had some issues when I'm swiping through here uh, that it crashes and you'll notice that it's not very smooth and there it crashed. So the dock is not something that you're probably gonna wanna use just because it has a lot of issues. And this tweak does actually crash uh, fairly often and my phone died but we'll just keep this video going anyways so that's all I really wanted to show you about this tweak anyways sphere view uh, you can check it out it is a nice novelty tweak not something that you're probably gonna want to use on a daily basis just because one it's unstable and two it's just hard to find apps to open and you can't open the spotlight or anything like that so you can't actually search for applications so that's just another 
downside of having sphere view. So of course, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos on everything jailbreak, as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.